Capricorn. What's going on, baby? It is me. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. Yes, indeed. Shout out to all of you guys who's just clicked this video to find out what is going on for the month of May. You already know what it do, baby. You already know what it do. So, um, again, thank you guys for clicking this video. As you see, I got a whole bunch of stuff going on right here. I want to give a big, big shout out to Mr. Dennis and to my baby, Amber. Number one, Amber, I just got this deck yesterday. This is the Love Oracle deck, you guys. This was, all of this stuff was sent to us off of the Amazon wish list. Thank you to every last one of you who's been booking personal and private readings, who has been sending any type of form of support, ever be on the cash app, the PayPal, a dollar, two, ten, twenty, because these videos resonate. Um, to everyone who's been sending stuff through the Amazon wish list, y'all are freaking amazing, and I thank you guys so much. This is from the same people who made the music oracle deck that I've used previously. I think I got this deck like last year or something like that so yes this deck is like very very interesting we're going to see what is going on with this today in our reading we also got some other decks you guys from mr dennis we got the crow tarot deck we got the wheel of the year tarot which we're going to be using today in today's reading the dreaming way tarot the wild wood tarot deck and then we also got the Druid Craft Tarot deck. And this is this box is huge, you guys. This is huge. So thank you guys again for all of the love and support. And um, if you guys seen the, was it the Pink Power Ranger Weekend? Read, I use the What Do You Mean card. So you guys are going to get this today in your read. And I just used it in the Aquarius reading. And it was spot on. So I actually love this deck this deck is it comes from a game a card game um called what do you mean so you guys could get this from target or something like that it's actually a really really fun game that you guys could play with all of your friends and stuff like that but it just so happened to go with these readings so um again uh capricorn i want to give a big shout out to you thank you so much for all the support and love if you guys would like to book a personal or private reading with me all you got to do is click the about tab and book with me through my um instagram messenger okay if you guys want to book it has my um, price listing and stuff on my YouTube page on the About tab. Just send me a message on Instagram and we'll get it all settled away. Um, for the people that's been trying to book with me through my Simply Book Me page, I'm locked out of that page. I can't get in there to see who's trying to book with me. So if you have been trying to book with me and I have not responded to you, make sure that you guys communicate with me on Instagram. That is the best way to communicate with me. Or you can send me an email on um, at scorpionreds at gmail.com okay so um again if you have any questions scorpionreds at gmail.com and send me a message on instagram it's the best form of communication okay so thank you guys again for booking with me let's get into this energy for today let's do a quick prayer let's give god thanks before we get into anything and let's find out what's going on with my capricorns for uh the month of may 2020 so father god thank you so much for all of this beautiful just designed energy especially catered for Capricorn we just thank you so much for keeping us positive we've been in planning mode you know we've been just like understanding why everything is happening you know what I'm saying have it be conspiracy or not you know what I'm saying or just understanding why we had to sit down in our personal life you know what I'm saying a lot of people are very very thankful for this unplanned like home vacation shout out to everyone who's been able to work from home everyone that's been able to sit with their kids and you know like really focus on their fundamentals and you know helping them with their education and doing this at home schooling at home you know uh uh parenting thing on like uh <laughs> Because normally we would be at work and doing stuff. And we're starting to see a lot of things about our kids and bond with our kids in different ways. Having to become teachers and stuff. So a lot of us are really, really, you know, in a good, in a safe place with where we're at right now. We're not really tripping. Everything is going to be, you know, all resources are going to be, all seeds are going to be planted. Everything is designed to, to grow at this point in Capricorn's life. And we're just very, very thankful for it. Um, and especially thankful for the time home. And like that's just like I don't know why that's like <laughs> why a lot of you guys seem like y'all are 
wanting to give thanks for just being able to just sit down for a second and not being forced to work. So, um, Father God, give us guidance for the sign of Capricorn. They seem very thankful. They feel very honorable and very humble at this moment. So give us guidance for the sign of Capricorn. Thank you so much for all the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Thank you so much for the abundant gifts that are laying on the steps ahead of us that we have been yet to receive, Father God, because we believe in it all. And we are so thankful for the truth that you've shown us within ourselves so that we can continue to be abundant and grow prosperously. Thank you so much. Amen. All right. So let's get into this, you guys. Let's see what kind of uh, energy we got here. With this love oracle deck for my Capricorns. You already know what's going on. Come on, Caps. Let's see. All right, baby. Let's see. I see that monkey and that's for net. Let them bitches eat cake. <laughs> cake. Cake, 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 cake. Let's see what we got for my Capricorns. Ooh, we got Casanova. Ooh. Who is this? Whitney Wolf Wolfheart? I don't know who she is. And Yoko Ono. Okay. All right. Let's okay. Oh, we got Casanova right here. Giacomo Casanova. It says, "Be the flame, not the moth." Facts. Always be a free agent. Promise fidelity to all. It's not destiny. It's opportunity. Casanova is... Ooh. <laughs> ooh. It says, always be a free agent. Promise fidelity to all. Mm-mm, Capricorn. Come on, Casanova. Come on. Ooh, these girls look cute. They are cute. Come on, Cas <laughs> Come on, Casanova. You better be calling them in now. Yes. Casanova already know. He said, that's how you get the goods. Be the flame, not the moth. You understand? Let people run and chase to you. You don't ever run and chase behind nobody. It's like you have to be the... You have to be the ignition that starts the flame. You understand? You got to be that spark, that thrill, the chill, the warmth. You got to be all of that for all seasons. You understand? You got to cover everything. Everything is destiny, not opportunity. Let's see what Whitney Wolf heard is saying. If you don't make the first move, someone else will. Come on, casting up neck, 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 casting over the took over the damn. This just straight pimping since been pimping since been pimping, popping off around here. Okay, come on, Miss Whitney, what you talking about? Every hour spent staring at the screen is an hour spent alone. Beware. To other people, your profile is your true self. Ooh. Wowzers. Hmm. People are really truly looking at you as the Casanova, y'all. To other people, your profile is your true self. Even though you know that you're deeper than that, it's all about playing the game. You understand? I'd rather be the player than to sit there and get played. Do you understand? So, even if they... Li listen. Read it a weep. Like, that's what Cap Capricorn is just like. Tuh. If you don't make the first move, someone else will. So, like, what y'all want me to say? You know what I'm saying? You want me to be the hunted or you want me to be the hunter? Y'all mad at me because what? I'm not going to sit there and wait for someone else to take my prize? Look, I want it all. I want it all. I don't want just one. I want it all. I want options. I want a plethora. Okay? You got to beat me to it. Alright? If you got a problem with it, y'all need to move quicker than that. What y'all want me to do? Shit. Every hour spent staring at the screen is an hour spent alone. So, Capricorn is saying every hour, every second that you send staring at something that I'm looking at too that I want, instead of you getting up and get it, it's going to be a, more of a second or more of an hour or more of a minute that you're going to be alone. Because I'm going to look at it once and I'm going to get up and do what I do, honey. I'm going to add it to the collection. Okay? Y'all already see my profile picture. What it say? Casanova, y'all already know what I'm giving. You already know what I'm giving. Come on now, Whitney. Yoko Ono. Yes is always the answer. 
Love is performance art that is placed amongst the clouds. Love is not a dream. You can remember it if you want to. Bitch, what is you talking? Hey, look at all of this. Look at look at her. Look at her picture in the back, y'all. Look at look at it. Oh my gee. <laughs> All of that booty. All of that booty though. Y'all. Yes is always the answer. And again. Always be a free agent. Promise fidelity to all. Yes is always the answer. Love is performing arts. That takes place amongst the clouds. So it's like you're selling dream. You're selling the art of fantasy you're selling the art of a lord you're selling the flame you understand like a moth to the flame burned by the fire i am the fire their love is blind can't you see their desire that's the way love goes do you understand oh my gracious yes booty booty <laughs> booty <laughs> love is not a dream you can remember it if you want to because, you know, sometimes when you have dreams and you wake up and you can't even remember what the hell was going on. Interesting. Y'all, you guys are pimping since been pimping, since been pimping. And it is like a masquerade. It's like I'm, I'm giving people what they want to see, what they want to believe. Yes is always the answer. You understand? Love is a performance art. It takes place amongst the clouds. It's selling dreams. It's selling fantasy. It's selling allure. It's selling a spark. Sometimes people need to be finessed by casting over. Have you ever been in like a place in your life where you just been mediocre and just kind of skating by, just being average and then Someone just with this finesse, this this swag, this gift of just this art of attraction just lures you in. And just all of a sudden you start wearing your makeup. You start going shopping. You start. It makes you just like achieve a different level of greatness in yourself because it's just like you're around this character. You don't understand? It's, you, 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 you're, and it's like. To be next to this person, I gotta be like this. So it's like I gotta step my shit up a little bit. Do you understand? Mmm. Someone has mastered the art of attraction. Oh Lord, then in the room, honey. Hold on. Ooh, let's see what's going on. Give me guidance for my Capricorns. What is going on for my Capricorns? Capricorns just like, look, y'all already know what I'm serving around this motherfucker. So I don't even know why y'all even acting stupid. When this read and lift the full of emotions, boredom, unwillingness to like emotionally give to something, you know, it's like, um, I just quickly, I'm like, I'm eager to get it started, but it's like, I really get bored with shit quick. It's like someone might even tell you, it's just like, you know, you're beautiful and everything, but. You might got a couple of months of my life. I get easily bored. That's why I got so many beautiful women around me. It's like I like options. I might come back to you. Listen, listen. Love is not a dream. You can remember it if you want to. If I want to go back and remember your beauty, it's e your booty or your beauty, it's easy for me to go back to it if I want to. You know what I'm saying? It's not, you know. Tch. But I easily get bored. You know? So it's like this casting over might be telling people like, or might be giving off this energy to people that they easily get bored. Um, they're kind of high on their own horse. On their own. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like someone high off of their own ego. Like drunk off of their own allure a little bit. That everything and everyone else is born. It's like the other people can't measure up emotionally to what it is that they're really trying to achieve so it's like whatever people are offering to him it's like it's not even enough it's like I, I, I already did it's like this person that has so many conquests you know what I'm saying that just the regular or the mundane just the regular shit is boring to them like you gotta be 
like really exquisite like this person has like a collage of booties that they you know <laughs> it's like the regular is boring to me like I need something extra what is this the three of materials so this is like a teamwork experience here it's like we're a team the three of us we're a team all three of us, we work very we're good together. So this could be someone that, you know, likes a lot of people around them. Likes kind of like a group activity type of situation. So, like, if this is like a sexual situation, this could be a Casanova that likes a lot of group sex. There's like multiple partnerships, you know what I'm saying? They feel... It's like a more... It's like a more glamorous appeal when... It's a man with a lot of beautiful women on their arms. Believe it or not, it attracts more women. More women want to be woven into this, like, you know what I'm saying? Beautiful tapestry of being one of Casanova's mistresses or something like that. It's just to even say I was with him. We worked with each other. I got, you know, I got to learn under this person's influence. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, even... This regular girl, like, just even being around a Casanova, like, do you see, like, their, their allure, their prestige, like, their glamour that they walked away with, even after being with someone like that, it's like, you learn so much, it changes you for the rest of your life, like, you're one of Casanova's dimes, you know what I'm saying, so, to even be around a woman like that, he turns them into temptresses, you know what I'm saying, so it's like, they still get woven into this person's teaching and this person's lure, this person's pimping, like, you know, <laughs> yo, I don't know, I feel like, why am I feeling like this is like a pimp or something, it's like, I feel like this person sells beauty and booty, what is this, the ace of material, so, what I'm kind of getting it's like, I'm not trying to say, like, someone is a pimp for real, but I'm going to keep it 100. Like, this is someone that is like, literally seen so many different faces that's had so many different conquests. It's like, the regular shit is really just boring, and they're annoyed with the regular. They're really annoyed with the regular. It's like, this seed that they're planted in their life right here, they want something that is so exquisite that... Only they can call it their own. Like, no one else has something as beautiful as this. No one has put the work in that could, you know, amount to this level of success or this amount of fame or this amount of victory or this amount of, you know, material wealth. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, okay, so to this person's defense... You can't learn it. No, like, okay, so I feel like the women under this person does learn the art of attraction and everything from this person. They walk away being taught and having a certain level of confidence where they can go and plant their own seed and they can grow and do the same thing and have people work under them and, you know. What is this right here? I don't know why I'm getting like with this. It's like having a natural gift of being able to call something into your life to get everything to kind of work in your favor. It's like even something that is so untraditional to other people. It just worked for you. It just, That shit worked for y'all. Do you understand? Like it worked for y'all. You know, like you were around a lot of beautiful women, like y'all all got together, y'all all worked with each other, like it, like it might seem weird, but this shit just worked for y'all. It worked for y'all. And you might have separated and now you're trying to do your own little thing right now. You trying to plant your own seed. I, I feel like you learned the art of natural attraction. Look, the chariot. And then you got the seven of fucking swords. So listen, yeah, again, so I feel like. Someone got bored in a situation where, you know, maybe someone did need more than just them. And you might have realized that, you know, to a certain standpoint, yeah, I might have been one of 
Casanova's dimes, but you're being weird because to other people, your profile is your true self. So, like, maybe people might have seen pictures of you being one of Casanova's girls and things. And maybe at some point you wanted to change your reputation and didn't necessarily want to be looked at as one of the girls in his harem. You know what I'm saying? Like, one of his vixens, one of his dimes and stuff. And maybe you quickly got bored with that shit, too, because it's like, it's so much booty around here. It's like, this motherfucker is never going to really settle down and choose me or anything like that. It's, 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 it's always going to be a harem a woman. But at the same time, I learned a lot. From this person, I learned how to naturally use my gift of attraction, my appeal, you know. And I learned if you don't make the first move, that someone else will. Each hour that you spend, look at the screen, is an hour spent alone. So this person taught me how to be a go-getter, how to be driven, like how to use all my natural talents and gifts and stuff like that. It's just like I just felt bored with just being around so many people and, and having to share and having to do all I like I kind of had to figure it out on my own the seven of fucking the seven you know what I'm saying the chariot like number one the number seven represents like withdrawal like knowledge you understand like analyzing something the chariot represents someone having a level of emotional growth a level of emotional comfort within their self where they know where they're going and they're able to like manipulate like, do you see how this person is able to use their gut? You see how their gut, their, you know, their inner strength is able to call out and they're to use this energy to, like, guide these horses. It's like they're using their energy saying go that way and it's like the horses can intuitively listen to this instruction and can understand it's like a type of connection with spirit where everything is just in sync right now and everything is going in the right direction so this means travel it means movement you guys might be moving you guys could be possibly bored within your location living with so many people having a learn and take structure and information and guidance up under this Casanova and things that maybe you learned everything that you needed to learn and you feel like you're successful and you got yourself together enough where you can you know take lead and go in your own direction and successfully get to where you're going I mean the chariot represents success and then the seven of swords is someone that is like getting away you know it's like, yeah, I was one of the dimes and shit, but I got away. Like, I was smart enough to get, I ain't let, I ain't let, I ain't let the shit take me to a dark place. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't out there selling my body or doing anything like that. Like, shit, I was just in a fucking relationship with someone. I guess that y'all look at is like a fucking player or whatever. But at the end of the day, shit, I played it. I, I met a lot of cool people. I had, it, 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 it did what I needed to do for me. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know if this is someone, and it's like... I feel like it's like being able to learn the art of attraction under one of the great Casanovas of the world. Do you understand? Like, yeah, it is like all of this booty and beauty and everything, but there literally is a natural gift to be able to exude that type of energy to attract so many people in that they're willing to change their appearance and go from just a regular mundane person to end up being like this. Like to transform someone to be able to have confidence like this and walk away with confidence like this. To be like this with that ace of pentacles. Do you understand? This, do y'all do you feel that? That's not regular. That's not mundane. These are not regular mundane. Tuh. Tuh. Like, come on. It's like the Seven of Swords is like someone like sneaking away, someone being able to get away that's learned enough that they've been able to outsmart the enemy. So it's like, yeah, this person probably thought that I was going to be trapped up in this harem and I was going to be doing all of the shit that the other bitches was doing. But nah, I was just around just, just enough time to have a good time, learn a lot of shit, have a lot of fun, and get the fuck out of there when I was done with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not fucking stupid. I'm not stupid at all. Like, I'm a fucking Capricorn. Like, now, <laughs> don't ever get me twisted. Well, like I said... 
This could even be someone being to the point where they might be wanting to get out of the player life. They might be a little bit bored with it. You know? Um, the three of material, I feel like it's like a teacher. That's a part of a teacher, you know? Having to educate someone. Teaching someone braving, teaching someone weaving, how to make their own money, how to be successful on their own. You know what I'm saying? Be able to go their own way and create their own victories in their lives. You know, learning how to be smart, intellectual, quick, fast. You know, how to sit down and kind of really research and gauge something before you do something. That's the seven of swords. It's like, no, I'm about to sit down and carefully plan and strategize and watch how other people do shit before I just jump out there and do anything because you know like this could be something like that they might have seen two or three of the other girls get away and they didn't successfully get away because they still were victim and up into this person's charm and stuff but she got bored so that's how she was able to get away give me guidance and love the base chakra in the reverse so I feel like this person wasn't ever really rooted into this lifestyle, into this work uh, atmosphere, because this seems like work. This is work. Having to learn a way of being, a, 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 a style of how to create something or whatever. Um, feeling alone. Yeah, so it was, so it's, the reason why this person wasn't really, grounded and really rooted in this and wasn't able to like I feel like on the so the, the social environment was something that they weren't able to commit to because yeah it was a lot of stuff going on but this person did feel alone a lot so I feel like this person might have been like in their room drinking to their self or whatever and just sitting back thinking like man what am I doing what am I about to do do I really like you know what I'm saying like yeah, I really do have a lot of good days, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like, I'm feeling alone. I'm feeling alone still, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I am dating Casanova and all of this stuff. And just the fact that I can even say that I've done that, like, that's cool and everything. Because everyone can't even say that they've even got close to someone like this. But at the same time, it's like, if I'm around all of these people and all of this luxury and all of this shit but I'm still feeling alone like is it really worth it you know so it's like if I'm gonna be alone I might as well be alone you know and and you see how that moon is like pulling someone you know it's like you just naturally started gravitate into a place where you know you were able to kind of Think about the fundamental changes that you really needed in your life. Because it seems like you're trying to plant something on your own so that you can have your own shit. It's like, I don't want to share. Yeah. Confront. Yeah, it's like you're confronting yourself. Confronting yourself. Like your shadow. Looking at that man in the mirror right now and just like literally like, is this something that I really want? Solar plexes. It's just knowing what you really, really want to do. It's like, can I naturally commit to this? You know what I'm saying? Like, is this something that I can continue to move and be successful in this and keep going and, and feel myself doing the shit for an eternity? No, nah, I don't necessarily feel like that, you know? Because I'm still just one of many. I'm one of many. And it's like I know that. And something kicked in in regards to the solar plexi chakras. It's like that real like high vibrational flow of energy. That's like where they really figured out how they were feeling. And why they were feeling the way that they were feeling. And what was throwing them off. Because they were still feeling alone. Even amongst all of this glamorous shit. I'm still fucking bored. I still feel lonely. You know. I'd rather just get away. They had to confront their inner self. And had to think about what they really want. And what they really wanted to do. And I really do feel like. So well, I don't know if you might have. 
somehow you ended up sneaking your way out of this group of people. It's like a group of people, an organization, or some type of social commitment that you found yourself into. Yo, I just noticed on this picture, it's two bitches kissing. I don't know if she's a lesbian or something like that. You see back here, you see it's these two bras kissing and stuff like that. So, yeah, it could have been like, I don't know if you guys were like doing threesomes. It's like, I feel like it was some type of, it's like some type of social group or something where y'all, I feel like there's some type of, you know, live your own little lifestyle there, you know? It was cool though. Like, I feel like, Especially like if you young, it's like man, I'm young. I'm in my twenties. Like to, I got the got the shit out of my system. I tried it, you know, and I don't necessarily wanna. All right, give me guidance. The five of wands. Yeah, it was too much cost. Cost. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, even though it seemed cool and everything, there was like a lot of petty competitions, like a lot of one up in each other and things. And with this, what is this? The Princess of Swords. Um, that's like the spy card to me. So it could have been a situation where even though you might have been one of many under this Casanova and he might have had you having threesomes with women and I feel like this like like all of this shit a wild little experience. It was fun for a moment, but again I feel like you were thinking about your reputation. You were thinking about your reputation. Beware. To other people, your profile is your true self. I feel like regardless of what people seen, that really wasn't you like that. It was just something that temporarily worked for the time and you learned a lot from it. But you weren't rooted in this shit. There was a lot of petty competition. There was a lot of different... There was a lot of different ways and opinions of how people thought things should go and what you should do. And like... It was too many like social disagreements. I feel like amongst this group of people, um, everyone was trying to get their own way and be heard. And I feel like you you decided to look for a way out. But you see how she got those uh, why well, I want to say platoons or whatever the hell those things is behind her, uh, those big ass guns or something like that. It's like. An enemies on a camp or something like that. It's like you had to like. I feel like y'all are searching. After y'all are searching. Or you were searching for a way to. Like people were focusing on trying to find ways to expose each other. That's what y'all just said. I feel like someone was searching online. Like competing, trying to one up each other, trying to find ways to expose each other and to bring out other people's secrets. And it's like, you know, cutting deep with the knife and fighting and like digging deep, busting shots at each other and things like that. Like someone spying on your profile, trying to judge you based off of the things that you say online and the pictures that you might have posed kissing women, being around his cast. And I don't know if someone, people are making assumptions about your lifestyle or something like that. And it's like, I'm tired of feeling like I got to defend myself and arguing with you. Like, you see things your way. I see things my way. Like, I'm not even in no competition with no motherfucking body. It's my lifestyle. And you know what I'm saying? I do what the fuck I wanted to do. Regardless if I'm rooted in it or not, which I'm not. You know what I'm saying? But I had to see that shit for myself. Like, mind your business. Or is someone within this little circle right there that is trying to one-up you and trying to upstage you. 
and trying to compete with you and just trying to like expose you in some type of way to make you look bad amongst these other people. Look, the five of chalices. So again, this means like some type of like this is some type of emotional shock of what I'm getting here. It's like everything falls down like there's nothing left. There's nothing left. Like someone knocked it all over where it's just like you're completely exposed in a way where you can't even deny that it's over or there's nothing left here. There's nothing more to do. Like, you know, your emotions are not safe here. You know, all of these fives, like there's a lot of fives. There's a lot of fives. There's a lot of change. There's a lot of change coming for someone because there's a lot of false accusations because the princess of swords is someone that just looks some shit up online and just running all blabbing their mouth talking about, oh yeah, well you know this motherfucker used to do it. You know this person used to um, be a prostitute or this person was fucking with a pimp or this person was doing like and don't even really know what the fuck they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? They don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. The Princess of Swords is someone that is given, like, communication that they're not even sure about. Like, they needed to do more research. It's like they'll just go read the headlines or something and go run around blabbing and telling everybody what they seen and some shit and didn't read the whole article. You know what I'm saying? Immature communication. The Two of Swords. You see two people being put up for battle again. It's like someone having to make a choice between two people. And it's like... Verbal arguments, being combativeness, being um, deceptive. Like the swords is like deception. It's like, you know, um, using trigger words, being trigger happy. Do you see what I'm saying? Trigger happy. Being trigger happy with trigger words. Like someone researching and trying to find like a way to break someone, how to compete. To, with someone how to beat someone out of everything that they had you know what I'm saying I feel like someone was with a Casanova and it was an enemy it was an enemy in the base there was there's a lot of threes there's a lot of fives so there was a lot of things that you learned from this situation. And look, and then the fool is at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, you guys definitely traveled and y'all moved on. Let's go ahead and put that right there. Listen. Like the wheel moves on. It just continues to roll on. Like you just rolled on. It's like I'm not going to sit here and... I feel like y'all got away. I'm not going to compete. Like... This person was that pressed to look me up and to do all of this shit and spread all this gossip. Always wanting to fight and argue, busting shots at me. Like, this could be, like, some type of internet exposure or something like that. I, I don't know if someone tried to... This could be someone that you were at work with or someone that you were trying to work with. Or I feel like this was someone that was, like, in, like, a polyamorous relationship or something like that. And I don't know if it started off being cool. Like, you all were, like... Taking pictures with each other, fucking with each other deep like that. But then, like, you know, whole time back at the ranch, you know what I'm saying? Like, you were feeling, like, emotionally void from the situation because you might not have wanted to share like that. You know what I'm saying? You weren't really rooted in it. It just was fun for the time. But when it got down to all of this competition and all this drama and you really got to see well, who this other person is that's woven to the situation with you you was like man shit listen I'm a, listen I'm thicker than a snicker and I'm slicker than a fox bitch I will get the fuck one out of here like I listen you had to confront yourself you had to look at yourself and once you looked at yourself and you felt like listen I don't compare what I don't compete with I'm not about to be sitting up here and keep arguing with motherfuckers and you know, no, I, instead of me competing with someone and being placed in the battle where someone's being left to make a decision on me, I could just roll on and continue in faith. I ain't got to listen. I ain't got to sit up there and deal with that shit at all, baby. At all. Like, whatever y'all tripping on, bitch, I don't even want it. I don't even want it. So what? You think I'm going to be sitting up here? Yeah, I was shocked. You know what I'm saying? You done came and knocked all my shit and spilled all my shit over. But at the end of the day, I'm just going to keep rolling on. I'm not about to sit here and keep fucking arguing with you and shit like that with this cherry car. 
Bitch, I'm going to keep stroking. Listen, I don't even want this shit. You can have it. Ain't even no point in you sitting up there trying to fight with me and do all this shit. Like, before the bitch knocked this shit down, like, this person was already getting bored with this shit anyway. Like, whoever this little bitch is that's pressed like this, like, girl, you can have this shit. You can have it. You can have it. It's like someone trying to spoil your reputation in the public or something. Give me guidance. Yeah. Look, an angry woman. I'm trying to tell you, this is her right here. This princess of swords. This could be a, 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 a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Angry woman. What is this? Look, again, a diamond sign. An angry woman. This could most definitely be an angry air sign person. Pensioner. So, the pensioner to me, and then what is this? The success, and the success came in the reverse. So, in the, okay, so what does this breaking down to? It's like this person feels like, with this 22 right here, they feel like they've tried to juggle and do enough for this king of hearts right here. So, this could be an air sign, women, woman that's dealing with, like, a. The hearts to me is a mix between uh, water and earth. So again, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, so this air sign. And, air, and, and then the diamonds to me is a mixture between earth and air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this woman is angry because diamonds is about investments. It's about resources. It's about assets. It's about material. One of the material base. So I don't know if she paid into a pension plan and didn't get out what she put in. You understand? The pensioner is someone that is Paying into an investment now for a decent return at the end. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like someone that's paying rent. That's paying, you know. So it's like someone might not have been paying attention to this person anymore. And this person might have put a lot of time into something. And she might have felt like, well, who is this other person? Or might already willingly know who the other person is. Shit, y'all in pictures with each other. Listen, y'all in pictures with each other. <laughs> y'all in pictures with each other hope <laughs> do you understand I feel like this man's loyalty wavered the number three represents communication there was a lack of communication because this man could have been paying his dividends into another account he could have been spending time somewhere else you see the dog behind uh, on its side his loyalty wavered she could be wondering why this person isn't coming home, why this person isn't talking to him as much. The number seven represents withdrawal, represents being knowledgeable, spiritual analytics, you know. So this man could put his investment where he felt like it was where he would get a better return. Do you understand? This is the success card, and that came out, and it dropped out on his table in the reverse. So the what is this? The nine of wands. Is this? This is the ten, this is the ten of wands. So it's just like, either someone didn't work hard enough, or their hard work didn't get recognized. It's like someone else ended up getting the reward, and they sat there and they put in their blood, sweat, and tears. For nothing. Like I said, that's why this woman is upset. Because she gave you her diamond. She gave you something that was supposed to last forever. And someone could have took their emotions. And could have told or made this person feel like it wasn't enough. And could have put their investment somewhere else. And that's where it's just like no recognition, no success. Like not even being told a job well done like you know it's just like a complete ruin 
did all of that shit for nothing. Look, did all of that shit for nothing. So, whoever this is right here, and here go the air sign again. This person has been looking at you, been researching you. That, like I said, this person has been competing with you. This person could have been feeling lonely. Or shit, you, I really do feel like you were leaving anyway because you were already feeling lonely because you felt like this person was around. You already knew that this was it was other people there that you were going to have to work with. It wasn't like it was like this was a dedicated teacher only to you. It was, it's like, no. This is being like a, a sporting competition. Like you guys going to a basketball tournament or something like that you already knew that you were going to have to compete with another team with other people like this person could have been training you guys to compete do you understand so let's see what the outcome what's the outcome to the situation for my Capricorns because this person was leaving anyway bitch the thief card and then you know this is the thief card too this is someone that is stealing something and is getting away with murder you know so this is like the page of diamonds this is the page of pinnacles so what this is basically saying like this is this is like you taking fate into your own hands like again like you might be a stowaway you might be Taking what you got and just disappearing on a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It's like, this person just tried to expose me. Like, I've been hanging with this person. I've been around this person the whole time. And the same, and it could be like the same way she was feeling. Like, she was feeling alone. You were feeling alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, she didn't want to share and you didn't want to share neither. Y'all both up under casting over. It's like I feel like someone, the two people love the same man. And these people could have been in a sexual relationship with each other. And it's like it just all turned to fucking shit. It just all turned to fucking shit. It all turned to shit once motherfuckers start competing with each other. So I don't know if whatever y'all were working towards, whatever y'all were doing... Before y'all get away, y'all ended up sneaking away and stealing something and, and, and just taking whatever you can put your hands on and just getting the fuck out of there and just dipping off like a thief in a knife. But that's basically what y'all are doing. Y'all are taking whatever you can get your hands on and you getting the fuck up out of there. Sneaking away and getting away with it. And I feel like someone is stealing something. Like I really feel like someone is stealing y'all. It's like... But it's like at the same time, at the same time, it's like if someone went through the extent to look you up, find out all your dirt, don't even know what the fuck you they talking about. Listen, you see how this person got the knife? Like this someone prepared to stab you in their, in your back, prepared to bust shots at you. Like this person knew what they were doing. Like it was malicious in intent. You know what I'm saying? And don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. Just trying to embarrass you. Whatever you just had to look at yourself and be like, why the fuck am I even with these people? Why am I hanging around these people? Why am I even mixed up in this shit? Why why am I mixed up in this shit? When I know, look, they think they smarter. They ain't, they ain't slicker than me. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like you end up beating someone to the punch. You understand? So whatever it was that they were trying to hide and grab or do a grab and hide, like you did the grab and hide. Okay. So you grabbed whatever it was that your heart desired and you dipped and you might be in hiding right now just away from these motherfucking people because they tried to fuck you and you was like, bitch, fuck you. <laughs> like they try to fuck you and you was like, bitch, fuck you. So you guys, this has been y'all's reading. Y'all are, there's a lot of travel. You guys have definitely moved away. You guys have definitely moved on. Ace of like I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all might have stole... Y'all might have stole some money and went and planted a seed somewhere else because it's like I can't even be rooted in this shit. And this motherfucker didn't try to exp expose me and knocked all my shit down and just like didn't want to leave me with shit anyway. 
You knocked all my shit down, but I took a little yours, bitch, before I left. And I did not. You knocked all my shit down, but I, listen, you knocked my shit down, bitch. Right? Because you was mad. You was mad because someone wasn't communicating with you. Because they was giving me their time and attention. Right? And their loyalty. The whole time we dealing with a motherfucking dog. Anyway, this is just a renter. They just trying to pay why they're there. Okay? They ain't buy the house. They were renting the house. It was a renter. Okay? Not a property owner. This person wasn't trying to own anything. There was no ownership. Okay? So you tripping over a fucking renter that ain't give you the motherfucking success and shit that you wanted. You stole mine and I stole yours. Right? Take care now. Bye bye then. So this, this has been y'all reading. This has been y'all reading. People want to battle. They want to play hard. But sometimes you got to play a little bit harder when you... <laughs> you got to play a little bit harder when you competing with motherfuckers that ain't... Shouldn't be compete... That, that you can't compete with. You can't compete with a motherfucker slick like that. Alright? You try to fuck me, you fuck yourself. Anyway, I love y'all. Y'all love yourself. And I'll see y'all next month. Listen, they said, listen. <laughs> I was bored anyway.